Sean found himself unable to shake off the inspiration Mrs. Collier's visit had left him with, along with the outpouring of support from his viewers and the online community. He spent hours reading their comments, responding to their messages, and expressing his gratitude for their unwavering support. The connection he felt to his audience was stronger than ever, fueling his desire to create content that truly mattered. He began the next morning by brewing a fresh pot of coffee, the rich aroma filling his apartment as he settled down in front of his computer. With each click, Sean found himself immersed in the world of his viewers, their words of encouragement and appreciation echoing through his mind. He responded thoughtfully to each comment, feeling a sense of camaraderie that had been absent from his life for far too long. As the days went by, Sean found himself increasingly motivated to create content that not only intrigued him, but also resonated with his audience. He spent hours researching various topics, from unsolved mysteries to the latest advancements in artificial intelligence. Each new discovery brought with it a renewed sense of excitement, and he couldn't wait to share his findings with his viewers. The more time he spent interacting with his audience, the more he realized just how much he had missed the sense of purpose that had once filled his life. It wasn't just about creating content for the sake of it, it was about connecting with others sharing knowledge and sparking meaningful conversations. During one of these late night sessions, Sean found himself revisiting a comment from a viewer named Michael. The message was filled with genuine admiration for Sean's work, and it was clear that Michael had been following Sean's journey for quite some time. Touched by the heartfelt words, Sean decided to reach out to Michael personally, thanking him for his continued support and asking for any suggestions on future content. The response from Michael came swiftly, suggesting that Sean delve into topics that piqued his curiosity and challenged his understanding of the world. It was a simple suggestion, but it resonated deeply with Sean. He knew that he needed to create content that challenged not only his own intellect, but also that of his viewers. It was time for him to embrace the unknown and continue to take his channel further in this new direction. A little confused by how much further he could take his content, but also filled with determination, Sean began to compile his list of potential topics, each one more fascinating than the last. He found himself drawn to the fringes of human knowledge, and even more the unexplained. It was in these uncharted territories that he felt most alive, most inspired to create content that would ignite the imaginations of his viewers. As he continued to engage with his audience, building connections and fostering a sense of community, Sean could feel the renewed sense of purpose grasping further within him. He was no longer just a man struggling to find his way in the aftermath of loss. He was a creator, a storyteller, and a seeker of truth. And with each new video, he took another step forward on the path to self-discovery, eager to see where it would lead. As Sean explored deeper into his newfound passion for the unexplained and mysterious, he couldn't help but miss his son. His son had always been such a significant part of his journey, not only since he was a little boy, but since he was born. But now, with him away at college, there was a void in Sean's life that was becoming increasingly hard to ignore. The silence in their once bustling home seemed to amplify the emptiness he felt. Late one night, while he was reviewing footage for his next video, Sean found himself reminiscing about the times he and his son had shared. He remembered the countless hours they'd spent playing video games together, debating the latest superhero movies, and bonding over their shared love for science fiction novels. Even when life had thrown its toughest challenges at them, they'd always found solace in each other's company. He recalled his son's unwavering curiosity and the enthusiasm with which he approached the world. As a child, he'd always been eager to learn, to explore, and to push the boundaries of his understanding. It was a trait that Sean admired deeply, and one that he knew had influenced his own journey as a content creator. In the quiet of the night, Sean allowed himself to become lost in these memories. He remembered the warmth of his son's laughter and the intensity of their conversations as they discussed the mysteries of the universe. It was during one such discussion that they'd stumbled upon an article about a recently declassified document one that claimed to reveal the true story of Adam and Eve. 
The memory of their late-night conversation about the document's contents stirred something within Sean. He realized that, in a way, his son was still with him, in the lessons he'd taught him, in the curiosity he'd ignited, and in the love they shared. It was this connection that inspired Sean to explore the story of the declassified documents further. With his son's inquisitive spirit serving as his guiding light, Sean began to research the true Adam and Eve story in earnest. He immersed himself into the ancient texts and scholarly interpretations, eager to uncover the truth that had been hidden for so long. And as he pieced together the fragments of this long-forgotten narrative, he knew that this was the content he'd been searching for, the story that would captivate his audience and honor the bond he shared with his son. Sean was determined to create a truly engaging video about the recently declassified True Adam and Eve story. He spent hours poring over the text, dissecting the language, and cross-referencing the information with other historical sources. As he fell deeper into the story, he found himself captivated by the intricate details and the revelations that seemed to challenge everything he knew about the biblical tale of Adam and Eve. Having gathered all the information he needed, Sean sat down to write a script that would do justice to this intriguing story. He wanted to create a compelling narrative that would keep his viewers hooked, while also presenting the facts in a balanced and thoughtful manner. He knew that a story of this magnitude deserved nothing less than his best effort. As he began to write, Sean felt a sense of excitement building within him. He knew that this video had the potential to be something truly special, the kind of content that would resonate with his audience and inspire them to question the world around them. He carefully crafted his script, weaving together the various strands of the story into a cohesive and captivating narrative. In the video, Sean dug into the contents of the declassified documents, which claimed to reveal the true origins of humanity. He discussed the ancient Sumerian texts that served as the basis for the true Adam and Eve story, and explored the idea that these texts may have been misinterpreted or mistranslated over the years. He also examined the role of the Anunnaki, an advanced race of beings said to have created humans as a hybrid species and their potential involvement in the development of human civilization. Sean dedicated a significant portion of the video to analyzing the various theories surrounding the Garden of Eden, including the possibility that it was a metaphor for a genetic laboratory where the first humans were engineered. He also dove into the concept of the Tree of Knowledge, discussing the idea that it may have represented access to advanced knowledge and technology rather than the biblical understanding of good and evil. Throughout the video, Sean maintained an open-minded and inquisitive approach, encouraging his viewers to question their preconceived notions and explore the story from multiple perspectives. He acknowledged the controversial nature of the subject matter, but remained committed to presenting the information in an unbiased and thought-provoking manner. Once Sean had completed the video, he spent considerable time editing and fine-tuning it, making sure it was polished and professional. He felt a deep sense of satisfaction as he uploaded the finished product to his YouTube channel, excited to share his findings with his audience. He knew the subject matter would be controversial, but he hoped his viewers would appreciate the in-depth research and thought that he had put into the video. Within hours of the video going live, it became clear that Sean's hard work had paid off. The views started to pour in, quickly surpassing his expectations. The comments section was filled with lively discussions. As viewers debated the validity of the claims in the declassified document, and expressed their appreciation for the thorough research Sean had conducted. As Sean scrolled through the comments, he felt a sense of validation and pride. It seemed that his decision to shift the focus of his channel was resonating with his audience. They were not only engaging with his content, but also expressing gratitude for his efforts to bring lesser-known stories to light. Among the sea of comments, one in particular caught Sean's eye. A viewer going by the username Clock Tower Enthusiast had left a detailed message, praising Sean's video and suggesting a new topic for him to investigate. The message read, Sean, I absolutely loved your video on the declassified Adam and Eve documents. Your in-depth analysis and open-minded approach are truly refreshing. I have a suggestion for your next investigation. 
There's a haunted clock tower in downtown Raleigh with a mysterious history. Locals claim it's cursed, and there are many strange occurrences associated with it. I think this would be a perfect topic for your channel. Keep up the great work. Sean felt a mixture of excitement and hesitation as he read the comment. The idea of investigating a haunted clock tower was intriguing, but it was also a departure from his usual content. He considered the prospect carefully, weighing the potential risks and rewards of embarking on such a journey. Sean decided to do a little digging, and while spending the next few hours researching the haunted clock tower, he couldn't help but think about his son. He wished that they could embark on this adventure together, just like they used to in the past. And although he was going to respect his wishes to allow him to find his own path, he couldn't help but feel a tinge of sadness as he realized, if he decided to continue to research this clock tower, this would be a journey he'd have to face alone. While digging into the history of the clock tower, Sean found himself repeatedly glancing at the beautiful vintage watch that Mrs. Collier had given him. He didn't know what it was, but something about it just seemed really special. Maybe it was the delicate hands that seemed to remind him that time was ticking away, and he needed to make a decision about whether to pursue the clock tower or not. Or maybe it was the idea that each day that he doesn't get to talk to his son was another day he'll never get back. Out of nowhere, Sean's stomach seemed to rumble loudly, snapping him out of his thoughts. He suddenly realized he hadn't eaten anything since the previous day, being fueled only by the coffee that now seemed to be coursing through his veins. He has been so caught up in researching the clock tower mystery and trying to figure out if he'd soon be planning a trip to Raleigh, that he just totally forgot to eat. He made a quick decision to grab some takeout food from a local taco stand that recently popped up in the shopping center next to his apartment complex. He knew that he needed to fuel his body before making the decision to embark on this potentially perilous journey. As he grabbed his keys and headed for the door, he glanced once more at the vintage watch that Mrs. Collier had given him, and with a deep breath, he stepped out of his apartment, eager to fill his stomach and prepare for the decisions ahead. As Sean was leaving his apartment, he unexpectedly ran into Mrs. Collier on the sidewalk outside their building. She seemed to be struggling with several heavy grocery bags, so Sean offered his assistance. Grateful for the help, Mrs. Collier accepted his offer and struck up a conversation as they walked. During their chat, Sean mentioned his recent fascination with the clock tower and the strange occurrences surrounding it. He casually mentioned the comment from Clock Tower Enthusiast and his growing interest in the mystery. To his surprise, Mrs. Collier's demeanor changed abruptly. Her once easygoing expression shifted to one of guarded concern, and Sean couldn't help but feel that there was more to her reaction than met the eye. Seeing an opportunity to gain further insights into the mystery, Sean cautiously asked Mrs. Collier if she had any thoughts on the matter. She hesitated before answering, her voice hushed. My dear boy, some mysteries are best left unsolved, she said cryptically. But if you choose to pursue this path, know that the truth may be more than you bargained for. More than I bargained for? Sean thought to himself. The idea that Mrs. Collier might know more than she was letting on brought a sense of unease, but his stomach continued to rumble, and Sean couldn't dig any deeper at the current moment. So he wished her well, and said his goodbyes and headed off. While waiting in line at the taco truck, Sean pondered Mrs. Collier's warning and began to wonder what else Mrs. Collier knew and what she may be hiding. Perhaps her cryptic words weren't merely a cautionary tale, but an invitation to dig deeper? As Sean approached his apartment after picking up his takeout, he noticed a flickering light coming from Mrs. Collier's window. He couldn't help but pause, curiosity getting the better of him. Sean stood perched between the apartment complex's office building and the gate surrounding the pool. As he gazed with confusion, he could see Mrs. Collier standing by a small table, a single candle illuminating her face. She appeared to be carefully arranging objects around the flame, her movements deliberate and precise. Sean couldn't make out the items clearly, but something about the scene sent a shiver down his spine. He wondered if this was a ritual or a ceremony of some kind, or if it was merely his imagination getting the best of him. 
Whatever the case, the sight of the flame only served to deepen the mystery surrounding his enigmatic neighbor. Feeling both excited and apprehensive about the idea of investigating the clock tower, Sean decided to do a live stream to update his viewers on the possibility of a new investigation and to discuss his recent discoveries. He prepared his camera, making sure the lighting was just right, and adjusted the angle to capture his face in a way that could bring more attention to the fact that this is a serious situation. He checked the audio levels, ensuring that his voice would come through clearly and crisply for his audience, and started the live stream. With the starting soon screen counting down, Sean felt that familiar buzz of energy, knowing that his viewers were eagerly watching and waiting for him to share his thoughts. Over the years, their support had been a source of strength for him, especially during challenging times in his personal life. They had formed a tight-knit community, sharing their experiences and knowledge, and Sean felt a deep sense of responsibility to continue uncovering the truth for them. He paused, took a deep breath, and switched over to his face cam. He started by recounting the events of the day, detailing his encounter with Mrs. Collier and her cryptic warning, all while making sure to keep her name private to protect her anonymity, and also keeping the strange behavior he observed to himself, not wanting to seem like a creep, by watching her through the window. Sean described the curiosity and unease he felt, and asked his viewers for their opinions on whether he should pursue the clock tower mystery. The chat section of the live stream burst into vibrant activity as Sean's audience eagerly weighed in, offering their thoughts and recounting their personal experiences with haunted locations. Messages flooded the screen as viewers excitedly encouraged Sean to trust his instincts and pursue the enigmatic clock tower. Alongside these words of encouragement, some of his more cautious viewers provided sage advice on how to proceed with care ensuring that Sean would be well prepared for any unexpected twists and turns. A handful of helpful users even shared links to valuable resources and intriguing articles, further deepening the lore surrounding the clock tower. As Sean read the comments, he could feel the energy and support from his viewers pulsating through the digital space. Their collective enthusiasm and encouragement served as a catalyst solidifying his determination to go to Raleigh to attempt to unravel the truth behind the mysterious clock tower. Emboldened by a newfound sense of determination, Sean meticulously prepared for his upcoming journey. He carefully arranged his essential equipment within his bags, the camera he would use to document his findings, a sturdy tripod to ensure stability, and a high-quality microphone to capture every nuance of sound. He also included a portable lighting kit, anticipating the need for reliable illumination and a generous supply of spare batteries to keep his gear powered. In addition to his electronics, Sean thoughtfully added a notepad and pen to his packing list, ready to jot down any crucial information he might uncover during his investigation. As he zipped up his suitcase and slung it over his shoulder, curious as to the time, Sean gazed down to the vintage watch adorning his wrist, its presence constantly serving as reminder that even though his son wouldn't be joining him on this adventure, he was not alone in his journey. And with Mrs. Collier's support, even if veiled in secrecy, he felt ready to confront the unknown, whatever it may be. As Sean took a deep breath, he began his slow walk towards the front door, each step feeling heavy with anticipation and unease. The short distance seemed to stretch on for an eternity, as his mind raced with thoughts of the unknown journey ahead. He couldn't help but feel nervous, yet an exhilarating sense of adventure bubbled beneath the surface. With trembling hands, he reached out and grasped the doorknob, hesitating for just a moment before turning it. The door creaked open, revealing the world outside, poised for him to explore its secrets. As he stepped over the threshold, the air felt charged with possibility, marking the beginning of a new and captivating chapter in his life. With a final, resolute exhale, he gently closed the door behind him, leaving the familiar comfort of his home for the uncharted territory that lay ahead.